Hello everyone, welcome back. And those of you that are new, my name is Jared the DM. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you all hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you don't miss the next time that I post a video. So we just finished our first dungeon of Skyward Sword HD, which I'm super psyched about to continue the story. Today, I really wanna focus on Skywalk and explore as much as I can about this floating island in the sky. I'm super excited to jump in today, so without any further ado, here's the next episode of Skyward Sword. All right, returning to the sky, let's head back to Skyloft. Master Link, when you hit that goddess cube with the Skyward Strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Awesome. The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. Cool. So, we're not going to go there yet because our wallet is full. So... We'll check later. So let's head back to Skyloft. Oh, I was just about to press it. The game did it for me. Who's this guy? Ooh. I heard you won the wing ceremony. Congratulations, that's incredible. Hey, you don't seem all that happy about winning. What's the matter? Well, yeah, Zelda's missing, man. We gotta find Zelda. So... We have 300 rupees, so I kind of want to see what we can buy here. Uh, we need a metal shield. Um, so... Oh, is that a wallet? It's a small... Oh, a seed satchel. We can carry more seeds. You know what? Yeah, how much is it? 100 rupees? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? We have 300 rupees. May as well. Awesome. <laughs> Durability shield, I said she have examined at the scrap shop. Okay, awesome. Thank you, but let's actually take a look at the silver shield. How much is that? Or the iron shield? Uh, another hundred? Yes, please. So, because if we're going to the Elden region, that's the volcano. Ah, item check. Okay, so then let's go to the item check and drop off our wooden shield. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the item check. Want me to put some stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So, is there anything in your pouch in storage you want me to move? Yes, please. Uh, All right, let's see it. All right, so let's take our wooden pouch, please. Or, I mean, not our wooden pouch, our wooden shield. Ah, uh, that's it. Uh, okay, thank you. Come again. Wow, she's very bored. All right, so now let's buy the shield. So that's 100 rupees. Yes, please. And we got the iron shield. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, let's buy some things. A heart potion. 20 rupees? Yes, please. We already have an empty bottle. We may as well. And we'll save the other one for, like, fairies and stuff. Hopefully I can get the next fairy, too. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, okay, cool. All right, let's go. What else can we see on in Skyloft? Uh, let's go back to the Academy. See if anything's changed over there. All right, we're in the Academy. Oh, here's Colin. Hey. Man, when Groot gets sad, he's downright miserable. He's always in his room skulking, and when he does come out, he's angry at everyone for no reason, even me. The way I hear it, you're the one responsible for Zelda going missing. This is your mess, so you better fix it. Um, is Gru still in his room? Let's go check on him. Alright. Um, hey bud. Oh, Zelda, where are you? Hey, hotshot. Don't think I don't see you flying in and out of town all the time. I know what you're up to. You're trying to make sure you find Zelda first, but it ain't gonna happen. Oh, this is the worst. All right, well, uh, we did what we could, so... Bye, Grus. Uh, let's see... I wonder where Pippet is. That's my room. Fledge. Oh, is Fledge in his room right now? What's up, Fledge? How you doing? Hey, hey Link! Uh, did you find any clues about Zelda? I know you can find her. Don't give up! Oh, thanks, Fledge. Alright. 
Um, it doesn't seem like there's anything interesting happening in the academy at the moment. Uh, does she have anything to say? No? Okay, well then, let's just go ahead and explore, and if I find something, I'll, uh, I'll see you there. Oh! It's Beetle's shop! Um, okay, let's see if I can get up there fast enough. Okay, okay. Nice! All right, hell yeah! I really wanted to go to Beetle's shop, but it only shows up after you've gone down to the surface once. Oh, why can't I grab it? Oh, there we go. Awesome. I'm so excited! All right, here we go. We get to see Beetle. Come all this way? It's so rare to have a customer here. A Beetle's Air Shop is everything you could ever want. Please, take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think this is a wallet. How much is a wallet? Extra wallet's amazingly useful, but this you can carry 300 rupees extra. How much is it? Ah, we don't have enough money right now. Thank you though, Beetle. Oh, please take a look at the other things I have for sale. Uh, what is this? Oh! That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one! 300 rupees. Oh! Alright, I don't have that right now. Um, how much is this net to catch some oh! bugs? That's a bug net! You know, for catching bugs! Insects too! 50 rupees! Yeah, let's do it. You got the bug net. Awesome. So, we can now catch some bugs. We've actually seen a lot of bugs around, so... He actually said thank you. I don't think I've ever heard a Zelda character actually speak like that. What is this? That's a bed. That's interesting. I didn't know Beetle had a bed in his shop, although that kind of makes sense. Is this Beetle's house? <laughs> Wait, can I just... Oh, that was fun. That's cool. All right, well, that's one way to get down fast. I think that's actually how you get down. Um, alright, I'll go more exploring, and if I find something cool, I'll see you there. Alright, I want to see if we can actually catch this beetle here. Ooh, I got it! You caught one Sky Stag beetle. These are really popular with the children of Skyloft. Their pincers pack a lot of punch, so watch out for your fingers. Ooh, oh, okay, so we can collect these different bugs. Can I grab a butterfly? Oh, 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 I got it! You caught one blessed butterfly. These insects are commonly found in every province. In rare cases, you find them flying in strange locations. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, it seems like there's a lot more bugs, just by judging the pictures. There's not much else on Skyloft, though, so let's take a look at some of the islands around. Yeah. All right. What is that? What is that? They're like... I cannot tell what that is. Are those Octoroks? Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta be careful for those, they hit me. Alright. Let's see. I love the music. This whole game just has such good music. Oh, God. See, flying is one of my favorite things I would love to do in pretty much any work of fiction that it ends up being in. I always want to do it so bad. What in the world is this? Oops. <laughs> I didn't use the sailcloth. <laughs> Step right up, boy! Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Uh, a little, yeah. Yes? Just the answer I was looking for. What a smart little guy you are. 
I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy. What's it called, you ask? Or even if you didn't ask? Well, I call it Fun Fun Island. <laughs> I'm still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. You might like what you find, especially if you like fun and colors. Okay, he's not ready yet, so we'll come back later. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see what else is here. Uh, oh, I see a structure over there. That's, that's kind of far, so I'll see you when I get there. Whoa! Oh my god, that was a tornado. What in the world? I guess we have to watch out for tornadoes, too. Those stupid Octoroks and more tornadoes! Oh my gosh. All right. This looks cute. I wonder what's inside. Oh, I like the music. Ooh, we got a little samurai dude over here. Whoa, is that you, Link? Never thought I'd run into you here. Uh, what is this place? This here is my secret spot where I come to work out the kinks of my sword arm. It was a time where I was the most popular guy in all of Skyloft. Folks were always cheering me on like it was a parade, but as you know, time passes. Time does pass. As someone else once said, life needs things to live, so. I don't have the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. So that's what drives a little feller here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Link. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? Um, sure, yeah. why not? That's the spirit! Chop away, boy! Hold up a second, get your horses, hold it. There's gotta be a way to spice things up a notch or three. Uh. Hmm. Yep, that's the ticket right there. You're going to take a swing at whittling down that big old bamboo right in the middle of this room. Thing is, see, it's a contest to see how many cuts you can make before it hits the ground. If you get enough, you stroll out here with a prize. <laughs> It'll cost you ten rupees to see what you're made of. You ready to give it a try? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> All right then, get to slicing. Oh god. <laughs> that kind of sucked. It was like only slicing, slicing, slicing one way. Hold up, son, you're all done. Let's count those cuts. Your score this time is 19. Well, you got miles to go, but I'll give you something for the effort. Here's 30 rupees. Okay, so we got 20 rupees out of it. Shoot for 20 cuts? Uh, let's try it. The, the, excuse me, the longer sword. Ooh. Uh, I kind of want to do it again. Let's try it again. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, oh, shoot. Seems like I can only do 19. Huh, let's see. Ooh, I wonder. Do you think we could use the motion controls? Or the, the stick controls? Let's try it. Because I think with these... Look how fast we can go. Oh yeah. We're doing it. I'm in. I was trying to do the motion controls and I remembered we don't have it. Alright, let's do it. I think we can get to like 25. Let's see. Oh no! No, no, come back! Yeah, let's uh, let's do it one more time, because <laughs> we need to make the money back. Oh, we got twenty-one. Let's go. I don't know what I did differently that time. That's awesome. 
A new record! Way to go, kid! Uh. <laughs> Wait, that's what I'm talking about. You really brutalized that bamboo boy. Here's your prize. We got a monster horn. That's pretty cool. I want to see you do 28 chops next time. Alright, so he says something about we need a longer sword um, to do the more chops, so we'll come back when we can like buy a new sword or something. Uh, Alright, I'll see you at the next island. Alright, I got hit by a couple of Octoroks, but we are coming up on a new island. That looks so cool. Nice. This is a cute little place. Um, I'm gonna break some pots over here, see if I can get some hearts before we head inside. No hearts there. Okay, I don't see anything. So, oh, there's a goddess chest. I don't wanna, oh wait, no, I don't have, I, I have uh, open wallet now. Well, it's a good thing we didn't buy anything from Beetle, because now we just got this for free. Awesome. That's really great. I'm going to save real quick. And let's head inside. Oh, I love the music. <gasps> There's a piece of heart. Do you think I could get it with the Beetle? Wait, can I not? I can't take out weapons. How am I supposed to... Can I throw something at it? Or can I jump, maybe? No. Oh, that worked. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we got a heart. I didn't want to break the chandelier, though. I feel bad. I mean, this is... This dude has to pay for this now. Shoot. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom-ordered chandelier. You're gonna be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier costs me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Yeah, of course, sir. I'm sorry for breaking your chandelier. That's right, and I'm gonna hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis, Skyloss Knight Commander. The Knight Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? You ready to deliver the night soup? All right, then. Here's the hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to the night commander. You got some hot pumpkin soup. Watch it. It'll get cold in five minutes. Oh, God. Where is he? The night commander hates cold soup, so you're going to have to hot, uh, deliver that in five minutes. Okay. Where is the night commander? I think Aegis is actually the guy who trained us when we left for the sword stuff. So if we head over there... We should be able to do it. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have less than five minutes. Come on. Let's see if I'm actually as good as I think I am on flying. Okay, come on. I feel a little bit faster when I do this. Awesome. Okay, we're so close. It's right there, we can see it. Let's go. I have your hot soup. 
I didn't know he was the knight commander, and he runs the sparring hall? I feel like that's not a knight commander's job. I feel like he should have someone else do that for him. Hey, hey Link, have you been out working hard on your swordsmanship? Hmm, I smell something. Ooh. I know that earthy aroma. Isn't that my favorite pumpkin soup? Ask the owner of the lumpy pumpkin to bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver some to me? That's right. Out of the Ooh. kindness of my heart. <laughs> yes, give it to me. Here you go. So good. Hmm, this is the stuff. Pumpkin soup's the best piping hot. Well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. Uh, all right, well then let's go back and say thank you to the owner. I'll see you at the Lumpy Pumpkin. The Lumpy Pumpkin? Yeah, the Lumpy Pumpkin. All right. The Lumpy Pumpkin. I still feel bad about the shan- Oh, well, at least they cleaned it up, so that's good. Hey, um... <laughs> ah, I see you delivered the soup to Aegis. I'll subtract your pay from the bill for the chandelier, but you're not done yet. I'm already scheming about what I need you to do next. I'm gonna need some time to think about this, though, so uh, come back and see me later. Will do. Uh, I saw Stritch. So let's go talk to Stritch. What's up, Stretch? Hey, uh, Link. I didn't think I'd see you here. I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Uh, not really, you know. Not really? I always knew you weren't a bug lover like me. A bug lover? Yeah, actually, I have a net now. Uh, so I am wondering what you're doing here. <laughs> I think I mentioned this before, but I mean, man, I'm really into bugs. That's why I'm out collecting insects whenever I think I'll find them. So if you have a bug net too, you should try catching some. If you don't have one, you can pick it up. Okay, we already have one. Okay, cool. So he was just telling us where to find one. Cool. Um. All right. I mean, I think that's everything we can do for now in Skyloft. I mean, can I like do anything with the pumpkins back here? Oh, hey, let's talk to her. Oh look, it's the brave knight who slayed the chandelier. Still working it off, huh? Say, it's almost pumpkin picking season. I wonder how I'm gonna lift all these heavy pumpkins this year. Can we do it? Hi. Oh look, uh, oh. I can't help her? Where do I have to put them? All right, well. I was gonna help you, but the game doesn't want to let me, so, uh... I guess it's off to the surface we go, so... Uh, what I'm gonna do is I will put the ruby tablet in and, uh, call it there for the end of the episode. Alright. It keeps opening it for me, and I want to, like, have fun with it where I, like, open it at the last second, but it won't let me. Uh, but into the goddess statue we go. And then we'll put the ruby tablet up. Oh, good. There's only room for two more, it looks like. All right. That should open the second one. You know what I forgot to do, actually? We should talk to Gaypora before we end the episode, so we can tell him what's going on. Tell him that we haven't found Zelda yet, but we know where she is. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the Cloud Barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Uh, Alright. I think we have everything that we're gonna need going there because now we have a metal shield so we don't need to worry about that so let's talk to gay pora and then we'll end the episode there for today or hey. not kukiel kukiel where could that child have gone oh kukiel where did you get to what will i do if she's been kidnapped oh link did you lose your your kid? 
What perfect timing! You haven't seen my kukil, have you? No, sorry. I, I see. Please, Link, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could for help, and uh, people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A, a monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone must have just walked off with her. Find Kukil, please. It breaks my heart to think that she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Link. Yeah, of course we'll find her. Thank you. Please find my daughter quickly. Hey! Um, okay. Kukil. So I guess we gotta talk to people about where Kukil is. Uh, let's talk to Gaypora first, though. Uh, and then next episode, I guess we'll investigate Kukil before heading down to the surface. Oh, hey, here's, um, here's Pippet. Hey, Link. How are you? Feeling better, I hope? I'm afraid I got some problems, too, but, you know, I try to put on a brave face in front of other people. If you do that, the unhappiness rolls off like water off a loft brings back. I always try to keep that in mind. That's kind of sad. Uh, I think this is Gaypora's office. Yeah, it is. There he is. Hello. Hey. Ah, Link. How goes your search? Oops, I didn't mean to skip ahead. I feel terrible forcing you to face this task alone, but we mustn't let the rest of the village catch wind of what transpired that awful night. If the truth of what we saw that night was exposed to the village, it could cause mass confusion amongst the people here. I'm afraid this mission has to fall to you alone. Good luck, and may the winds be at your back. Uh, all right. Well, with that out of the way, I think that's where I'm going to end today's episode. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and click that bell notification so you don't miss when I post the next episode. Thank you so much, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.